In a monumental move, the Bank of England pledges to undertake a sweeping reform, a once-in-a-generation type, following a stern critique by Ben Bernanke. Buckle up as we dive into this fascinating development. This isn't just any ordinary tweak or adjustment. We're talking about a comprehensive overhaul of the Bank of England's forecasting and communication practices. It seems the bank is ready to roll up its sleeves and take a hard look in the mirror, all thanks to Ben Bernanke's critical review that served as a wake-up call. Bernanke's critique wasn't just a slap on the wrist. It shone a harsh spotlight on some glaring issues within the bank's operations. The first key issue being the forecasting infrastructure. It seems the bank has been falling short of the mark in this area, with the review underscoring the need for a more robust and efficient system. But the problems don't stop there. The review also pointed out a significant underinvestment in core operations. While the bank has been busy focusing on the bigger picture, it appears some of its fundamental processes have been neglected and are now in dire need of attention and resources. And then there's the issue of scenario-based analyses. In a world where economic uncertainties are the only certainty, the bank's lack of emphasis on this crucial tool has been called out. The review strongly recommends incorporating alternative scenarios in projections, a practice that could be a game-changer in navigating the unpredictable economic landscape of today. To address these shortcomings, the bank is pulling out all the stops. It's committed to enhancing backroom operations, improving its forecasting approaches, and communicating policy choices and uncertainties more effectively. And while these changes won't happen overnight, the bank's commitment to gradual and steady implementation shows its resolve to turn the tide. With such a robust commitment to reform, the Bank of England is clearly ready to revamp its modus operandi. But what does this mean for the future of economic forecasting? The Bernanke Review, a key catalyst in this saga, has pointed out some glaring issues in the bank's current system. Now, let's delve into these findings. The Bernanke Review, a comprehensive assessment by Ben Bernanke, has highlighted several shortcomings in the Bank of England's practices. One of the key areas of concern is the forecasting infrastructure. The current system has been deemed inadequate and as we are well aware, accurate forecasting is vital for managing economic uncertainties. The review also points out the underinvestment in core operations. This is a significant issue as robust operations form the backbone of any financial institution. Without the necessary investment, the bank's ability to navigate the economic landscape could be significantly hindered. The Bernanke review doesn't just identify problems, it also provides solutions. One of the recommendations is to enhance backroom operations. This is to ensure that the key functions of the bank, those that typically happen behind the scenes, are able to run smoothly and efficiently. Another recommendation is to incorporate alternative scenarios in projections. This is an interesting suggestion, as it underlines the need for flexibility in economic forecasting. It's not enough to just have one plan, the bank needs to be prepared for various possible outcomes. Finally, the review emphasises the need to improve communication of policy choices and uncertainties. In the world of finance, clear and transparent communication is paramount. Policy decisions can have far-reaching effects, and it's essential that these are communicated effectively to maintain trust and confidence. The Bernanke Review has indeed thrown light on some critical areas for improvement. Now the ball is in the bank's court to implement these recommendations. The bank has accepted the challenge, but how does it plan to tackle this mammoth task? Let's unravel the bank's roadmap for reform. In the face of the formidable task of overhauling its operations, the Bank of England has chosen to go steady and slow. The bank's strategy is to implement these changes gradually, a wise course of action considering the magnitude and complexity of the proposed reforms. At the heart of the bank's reform strategy is its commitment to updating its forecasting approaches. In a world marked by economic uncertainties and unpredictable fluctuations, having an accurate, robust forecasting system is paramount. The bank understands this and is determined to enhance its forecasting infrastructure to better navigate this uncertain economic landscape. But what does this mean for the bank's operations and the broader economic landscape? Well, it's a game changer. By incorporating alternative scenarios in projections and enhancing backroom operations, the bank is not just improving its internal mechanisms, 
It's reshaping how it engages with the world and how it communicates its policy choices and uncertainties. This could lead to more informed decision-making, more effective policies, and ultimately, a more resilient economy. The bank's commitment to reform also sends a powerful message to other central banks and financial institutions across the globe. It underscores the need for continuous improvement, for being adaptable and responsive to the changing economic environment. It's a call to action for banks everywhere to re-evaluate their practices and strive for excellence. With its eyes set on the horizon, the Bank of England is poised to transform its forecasting and communication practices. The road ahead is challenging but promising. The bank has embarked on a journey of reform, a journey that could redefine not just its future, but the future of the global economy. The world will be watching closely as the bank takes its first steps on this transformative journey. So the question isn't just about how the bank will tackle this mammoth task. It's about how this journey will shape the bank, the economy, and indeed, the world. With its eyes set on the horizon, the Bank of England is poised to transform its forecasting and communication practices. The road ahead is challenging but promising.